The very first lesson with us, right? Okay. Linda, Linda, Linda. Oh, Linda Wilson. Oh, great. Okay. What what I would do? Excellent. And now don't try to straighten it. Okay. I'm going to keep it just as it is. We're going to try and do a movement you're not used to doing, which is this and this. Excellent. Gradually, and then she can take the eyes the same direction, but tiny movement because mm -hmm. you don't want this to lift off very much, and until this starts differentiating. Mm -hmm. okay. Dominique is uh, 14 years old, very intelligent girl, and I immediately realized that she had no idea about her lower back. Her brain never got connected to her lower back. She's never walked independently here after her first session with a trainee in the practicum. Look, she's feeling how to shift the weight and then how to apply her lower back so she can actually stand up on the leg. People watching this actually were crying because this girl never walked on her own and she can walk with a walker. And it was actually miraculous, the amount of change. Here she's walking in by herself without a walker for the first time in her life. After that one lesson from a trainee, who here is trying to get her to feel. That's her practitioner back in Arizona who is in there my go. training program. It's going to be very easy. There you go. And now, and now, and now. And now, slouch. Okay, uncross your legs. She can do it. Uncross your legs, sweetie. There you go. Push the belly out. And imagine you're on your feet. Now, you're pushing back the... Don't push against my hand. That's it. Throughout the first uh, 14 years where Dominique got therapy, the focus was on the muscles and on their spasticity, the legs. And what we did with her was really get her to feel what was going on and begin differentiating, creating new possibilities in her brain. And she responded with such speed that I believe had she gotten to us or gotten this kind of work and approach when she was three months old or six months old, she would be walking freely today. Here, just after th three sessions in class, mostly with the trainees, she has, for the first time in her life, the sense of what it means to be upright. It's not 100% there, but it's a huge improvement in hardly any time at all. Yakim is a year old French boy with athetoid CP that Joseph saw for the first time. Uh, incredible limitations, but a very intelligent boy. His father is using some kind of reading device, uh, and Yakim is using his eyes. Here you can see that uh, he cannot lie quiet. His legs obviously crossed. But uh, like Tim was when he got to me first, he, he doesn't know how to respond to the gravitational field properly. So he has really no control at all, or hardly at all, of his movements. Lying on his stomach is almost unbearable for him. So here in my lesson, I've gradually done a, a work with him so that a, a lot of the chronic contractions uh, stop, the brain stop making those contractions. Now, Yakim never, especially on his stomach, turned his head to his left, and here with by what I'm doing with his pelvis and helping his spine twist, he himself spontaneously turned his head to the left, which was quite remarkable. The arms are still quite stiff, but it's a look at the movement now in his spine and chest and pelvis, which he had never, ever experienced in his life before. And if at age nine he can respond so quickly, Imagine what he could have done when he was three months old or six months old or a year old if he had gotten this kind of work. It would have looked a lot more like Eli that uh, was able to crawl. And here he's following on his belly. He could not lie on his belly. It's really very uncomfortable. And now watch how for seconds it'll, he'll go back, but he has a better feeling of how to uh, carry his head and look how free now the hand and the arm have become and how calm the child became. We have not stopped the recording yet and look, he's just his thumb is moving a little bit and he feels himself in a whole new way. It's a calm brain. This is Kai, uh, he's nine months old here, that's his first lesson with me and he has a cerebral palsy and torticollis uh, dystonia. 
and uh, incredibly stiff. Anytime he tries to do anything and the jaw gets very, very tight, I'm gently trying to feel what he can do and how he responds. And obviously the nervous system has a very powerful, rigid, compulsive pattern, which has the name of torticollis dystonia. And looking to see if he can start feeling a little more ease in the movement in his back so he has more say in what's happening with his head and those violent spasms. Here he went into a spasm, it's painful, so he starts to cry and I distract him and that stops the spasm. Here he's a year older, he got some lessons uh, in between, they live uh, far away in Northern Cali California, and this is Marcy again. And you can see with the, from the work with Sylvia Liner Shoredike and a few other practitioners, whenever the mother can get him for lessons, she does. But look how the chest is free, how the child is calm. And probably I would like you to pay mostly attention now how he listens internally. That is when the learning is occurring. That is when the change is happening. And the children feel very comfortable. Now Marcy very gradually is getting him to feel in a minute you'll see, feels until he's ready to bend his leg and then the other one, and he's cooperating with her, and then he, she gets him to push, and she's actually telling him to push himself, and you see the child, he's uh, delighted, uh, he feels what he's doing, and he doesn't get much spasm in the neck while he does it, and look at how calm and how beautifully he sits here, and how happy he is. There's a long way to go, but the changes are quite remarkable.